host Isaiah and today we're going to knock out a couple things including MSD and a couple of uh, other items. So let's get to it. Okay, we zip tied all of the vacuum fittings. We added a vacuum line to go inside the cabin for the new standalone computer, which is map based. We pulled the wiring harness through and we're gonna get ready for MSD. That's what we're gonna tackle next. So let me get the goodies for that and we'll get started. All right, so I took this uh, harness out of the silver car and put the brand new one on that and we're gonna use this one for this here. All right, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna knock out the simple ones, which is thick one red, that's power, thick one black, that's ground, ground's gonna go right here. I will tighten that down in a minute. And then our power goes to our distribution block. Alrighty. Bad back a little bit, you too close. Where's my cuddles? Right, power's in, get the cover. As soon as we're done, we're gonna tape that whole thing down because the cap is busted. But, moving on. All right, these here purple wires, the purple and uh, green, that goes to our distributor. It's gonna read positive and negative. All right, and we're gonna keep the original plug. So we're gonna cut right back here. Ah, there we go. Disconnect this plug. Okay, so for the distributor on the back end, and I cut these wires extremely short, the white wire is your positive and the black wire is your negative. The violet goes to positive, green goes to negative for the MSD. And this is ground for the protective wire that goes around the distributor uh, the loom and you don't need to ground that so we're gonna tape this up and move on to the next piece the next piece is this wire this wire is your tack signal and this goes to your gray wire from your MSD so there's that and then also we have the positive and negative for the coil. So that's gonna go on here like so. And what else do we got? Um, we have the red wire. That goes to your black and white wire, which is um, ignition switch on. And your, um, not your thick red wire, that's your positive, but your other red wire that's your ignition switch on and that should be it your MSD should be ready to fire up we're gonna connect these items and take it from there so that is your MSD in a nutshell and I'm gonna try to clean this up so stay tuned Thermostat number one, thermostat number two on the original 
radiator. So we're swapping both of these out for one so the fans come on at the same time. Factory thermostat on and off. 180 degrees to 190 degrees. Thermostat number two. On at 207, or excuse me, 217, off at 207. So, okay, and now we're putting on our thermostatic switch. All right, so get some tools. Open it up a little bit. All right, so that's our thermostatic switch. And we're going to take our two fans, boom, boom, and we're going to hook it up to this here. Oh my, that's small. That's not going to work. All right, let's get that out of here. Let's get some real stuff up in here. Make sure all this fits. Let's go with the blue. Alrighty. Yep, like a glove. Alright, so we're gonna take this here. good that's good and we're gonna clean up these wires a little bit later and yep that's connected but that's not too big of a deal so as you can tell we are nearing the end of this journey Because very soon we're gonna be cranking this car up, seeing how she sounds, how she runs, which reminds me I still have to get oil, stuff like that. But tighten this up like so. And then, my favorite part, we're gonna size this up to uh, get the blow off valve treatment, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be freaking sweet. All right, so we're gonna put this bad boy right about here. Yeah, right about here. Yeah, got this uh, custom two-inch pipe. Those of you who are wondering, you know, two-inch. All right, and then uh, we're gonna mark it up for some cutting, and we should be good.
Okay, we got the blow off valve on and proper. We're gonna link it into vacuum soon as I get a uh, a splitter for it. Okay, so got that ready. And let me see, we got the MSD that's gonna fire off. Um, we gotta tuck some wires. We gotta add in some wires. We're gonna get there. Definitely here. Once I move this stuff out the way, that is. I'll leave this one down. Oh no, that goes to return, so. Alright. So we'll run that. Right down here. I'm definitely gonna have to move this line out the way. But yep, so we're gonna run that down here and or up here. Yeah, I think this might be uh, feasible. Okay, so the car is at the cusp of being started. I have to get a uh, thing of coolant. I also have to get the oil and oil filter. I also have to get the battery with battery terminals and a battery tray. I have to get the return line for the turbo. And we should be ready to start after that. Oh yeah. And I have to get the screws for the coil. And that should do it. I'm gonna check to see if I have some in my toolbox, but I'm pretty sure I need to get that. And I need to get the water hose for that guy to that guy. And yeah, I think she'll be ready to start. All right, and we hacked the muffler off with a sawzall. So that's done. Pretty sure no one wants that but uh yeah if you come pick it up you can have it for free <laughs> so anyway moving on i'm going to uh pull this harness back out and i'm going to show a pinout on the um, aftermarket ecu and i'm going to pinpoint which uh each and every wire does and hook it up to the corresponding point but until then, we're going to uh, hook up the blow off valve. And let's see, a couple other things and knock it out of the park. Okay, next, we're going to take out this nasty oil filter, which has rust on it too, which basically means. I don't even want to ask how long it's been in there, but yep, so let's take this bad boy out. And let's get in our new filter. Huh. I thought they only made uh, piston rings. I guess not. Hmm. All right, 
right, let's slide this bad boy in and uh, yeah, move on to the next thing. Okay, and then next we have the upper hose. I'm gonna just put it on for now, but I'm gonna have to take this pipe out and unbend it. I don't know how, what, or why, but I'm just gonna connect it to make sure I don't need to modify anything on this side. And yeah, let's see. might make it a little bit shorter but looks like a win to me oh let me squeeze this on here and make sure everything fits right get back the clamp off all right all right so we got oil in all right filters on Okay, only thing we're missing is the return line, a battery, battery tray, um, the engine harness, the MSD is done. I do have to get two screws for that. Uh, pull out this wiring harness and get that harness together. Uh, let me see what else. Ah, we still got to get that water neck. All right, which should be pretty easy. And we plugged these two. We're using the center one. Have that spliced off to the ECU. That's the blow off valve. We have vacuum to this. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Distributors connected, it's in time. We still have to fix this pipe, not a big deal. We have to do an exhaust, otherwise everything behind it will melt. And with that being said, thank you for watching. Join me for the next episode. Please subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. Thank you.